All right, guys, so this is your guy at GPT Blog. If you're not following us, can you hit the follow button or subscription button, depending on which platform you're watching from. All right, so after the death of uh, this gospel singer, Sinachi, a lot of people have been coming out to speak against uh, domestic violence they've been experiencing, experiencing in their home or relationship. Now, this particular one actually caught my attention because, you know, they, they are these two people in question are, aren't married. They're just boyfriend and girlfriend. Now, these two people um, happen to be based in um, um, Enugu State, and the boyfriend in question is Infine, you know. You will be seeing the, his full name later in the video when the girl starts speaking about it. Now, so, they happen to be in a relationship and they have been up and down where they have to go a break for five months or co. So they decided to at a point so they decided to rent an apartment, you understand? Now this girl in question, you know, um she has within those period um she was having issues with the guy within he, she had actually actually found someone who later came to play a role in all these stories and so just keep listening. So at so at some point, you know, they had to separate and they came back when probably the guy was having issues. So they dis at the end of the day, they um, decided to rent an apartment, you understand? You know, the guy said he was renting the apartment because of the girl, because he said he was going to relocate to uh, Abuja and, you know, decide to stay there. Now, after I relocate, uh, renting the apartment and all of that, you know, at some point, the um, girl actually had to go see her uh, ex. <clears throat> In question in Lagos here. So when she got, she she actually told the boyfriend and the boyfriend was aware about everything. Now when she got to uh, when she went to see her ex, she narrated everything that's been happening with this um, her boyfriend if I then the boyfriend said it's best for her to um, you know pack out and you know relocate to another place. He asked how much was the rent. She said seven fifty or about. So he gave her one million naira so that she can go rent another apartment because. You know, she after explaining everything to her, the at least the Lagos boyfriend, to be precise, was very nice to give her one million. Now this same girl, you know, instead of her to uh, rent the apartment, the boyfriend in question, um, if I, you know, happens to start convincing her that this that you rented the apartment for this that, you know, let them do the this together, you know. So at the end of the day, the girl later decided to start sending like money to him so that he could buy AC. Um, air condition, uh, sorry, this is air condition, air conditioner, um, washing machine, and all of that. You know, the guys there, um, get the guy got some inferior things and all of that. You know, at the end of the day, the one million that was given to her by her Lagos boyfriend got finished, you know, and she went back to that same guy. So, you know, things started, one thing led to another, you understand, and the, um. She decided to speak up when the guy said it was about. It was the guy said he wanted to leave. And then you know she said uh, um, after the guy packed his things out, you know that she wanted to put her things back into the wardrobe. The guy got angry and you know there was argument and all of that. You know the guy wanted to collect <laughs> you know, the power bank from her. And then you know then you know he hit his hand against the glass. He caught him and you know the guy started beating her. So after this last incident happened, she decided to come to social media to speak about all the with the dude, if I you understand. Now the question is, why do people still want to give people chance after suspecting domestic violence from the same people? You understand? So why is it is any relationship or marriage worth your life? You know, now she's speaking up. Now the guy, um the Boy, um, she went to see in Lagos. I was really serious about her. It's not laughing at her. You understand? Thank God for our friend who came, and you know, you know, because even the neighbors were hearing them, and they didn't even intervene. She was screaming, and they didn't intervene. So I don't know why do men even see reasons to lay their hands on women, and you know, why do women choose to remain in a violent? Uh, relationship you know i don't know you understand tell us what you think now the video you'll be watching this is um, about seven minutes plus you know you'll be hearing from the girl you've seen the audio i tried to explain summarize everything because it's a bit long so tell us what you think i'm talking about how this this boy you don't need this thing okay ah!
Okay, so like we've been dating for two years now. Some time last year, how much time last year? In this village, he picked me up. And he apologized. So I forgave him. So we've been, we just kept on going on and off, on and off. He's beaten me a couple of times before now. Earlier this year, we, like, last year I was supposed to get an apartment. But then it, was, it did not work out for me again. I was supposed to, someone was supposed to help me get an apartment. But it did not work out. Because he just came into my life and started begging and stuff now. So he said, even for him to get to himself, he's going to get to himself. Delayed though, delayed throughout the whole of December, January, February. Finally got it. Finally, he now finally got it sometime last month. He paid for it. After I finished asking him, okay, he, he even paid himself like before, I think, I've forgotten, but like it was like two months ago. Yeah, so like two months ago, he beat me again. And then the house was supposed to be like, sorry, like it was supposed to be. Like, it was supposed to be his way of saying sorry. So he rushed and went and paid for the house so that he said even if we're going to be friends and stuff, no problem. So he got the house, then he started furnishing it together. Like, if, like when we were furniture, when we were, were paying for the furniture and stuff, they said the bed stand and the chair was going to cost 430 k I sent him 100. I don't have much, but like, whatever I had, I used to give him. So I went to Lagos to go and see somebody um, last month. My ex, like someone I did it with um, a while. Wait, within the two years, I met him after that. We had this, um, up, we broke up for like five months sometime last year. So within that five months, I saw somebody, I met somebody else. Then I go back with him again and stopped talking to this person. I went to Lagos to go and see this person. I told the person about my perceived relationship. He told me, okay, and since how much is the rent? I told him the rent was 750. So okay, he's going to give me 1M to get another place, I should leave him. Like, if I stay there, he's eventually going to or he eventually start dating, we'll start dating again. So I took the guy's advice. And I told I told you fine to please leave, that I don't want to date him again. Like I'm not interested again. Even in the house. You should keep the house. But I've got some money for a new place. <laughs> there was a whole other thing, the self content the self, self con and stay with him. Like because I know that him getting a woman palo meant he was looking for a bigger space for two people to stay in. So I now asked him to keep the house, let me store my own. He said, no, that's a waste of money. That he told the lawyer that the house was for me. Everything, the, the furniture, everything was the color I chose. Like, he was trying to convince me that he has done everything with the way I wanted. He wasted effort and stuff. And he still had my clothes, my stuff in his house. So he was telling me that if I don't come back, like, he's going to my stuff. He's going to that he has boosted his strength, that he, he, I know he's not going to stay in Enugu. He's moving to Abuja. So he got this place for me. So why am I, why am I going to waste everything he has done now? The highest, I should bring that money that that guy gave me. I should bring you, let's buy, that he has not bought AC, he has not bought washing machine, stabilizer, blinds. I said, okay, when I was in Lagos, I sent him 200k. He bought four blinds. Three blinds are costly in the market. It's 5k per blind. Okay, no problem. This is my house now. The money is still entering there. I give my that 200 k again. He says to buy AC and washing machine. Then, and the AC since then, there's never cool. I don't know what AC he bought. It doesn't be current. I don't even know. Like, he kept on buying a few things with the money I was giving him. I don't know, because he, he's, now, he's now having money issues. So, like, he's not using me. Like, the money I was getting from that other guy. So, he was lying, getting a few things and keeping the money. So, the money, apparently, the money finished. The one in finally finished. In groceries and stuff so I'll, I'll, send him, I'll send him money you say he'd not he'd not receive anything i'll send it again yeah you know refund again last week he said we should get money we should, we should pay for tank at my poor time in the tank i give him thank you cash has not even i've not seen the tanker since then i've not seen the money since then nothing so this guy now three days ago at, um, we had um he probably had issues he started calling stuff and i was like I went to Lagos to go and see somebody. You are aware. You are very, very aware of it. You knew what I went to Lagos to go and do. When I came back, you were still. I told you I wanted to get a self come for myself. You did not agree. You said I should bring the money and come. You knew it was a man's money. You, you are eating it comfortably. No, it was uh, money that I created for somebody else. Now that the money has finished, you're now calling me a hoe. But you now pack the things that he's leaving. That he needs peace of mind. This one, that one. Like, the arrangement you made earlier on was she's not even going to bring his things inside the house. It's my own place. But he can get, he can come and go that kind of thing. But like, 
moving his things inside the place, do you get? Because he said he was moving to um, Abuja to serve from there. He will not stay here, like, he will not move here. So, like, that was the plan. Nothing, nothing that I've never had any reason. I've never accepted to live in together with somebody. Not possible. I've never. I don't like living. I can't live with a man in the same house. So, he now, um, the following month after moving his things, he so you leave his place. Because he said, if you have issues, you move highest. He started packing him back again. And the process of packing in, it's not me that moved the things the other day. He was moving it by himself. So I was replacing my own clothes, like in the hangers and the, my shoes in the shoe rack. He ran came and said, throw my things on the ground. Me, I go angry. I was like, why are you moving? Did I touch your things when, I was, when you were moving out yesterday? From there, I pushed his own things on the ground. We started struggling. So they started changing words and then my cord, my, my charger. I, I collected his own charger. I was like, he's like, I can't see what he has done to my charger now. That I'm about to plug it in the power bank he got for me. He got two power banks, one for me, one for himself. He has said, besides the power bank is his own. See, he bought it himself. I wanted to collect it. I wanted to throw, collect it. I wanted to collect it back as far. Say you buy him, no me saying that. Oh, you bought it for me. You, you, see, we were like he's now trying to use because of we're not dating anymore to collect things back that he already gave me. Try collecting the power bank back. He now hit his hand on the mirror when we were struggling for the power bank. The mirror now cut him. He now used the mirror as. He started shouting, blood. He started beating me, beating, beating me to shit, breaking my rack, scratching my house, my ring lights. Everywhere, like, because he knows the last class, he will lose the house. But, like, he wanted the whole place to be messy. He wanted to raise alarm, beat it. Ah. The neighbors were just busy. He was dropping. None of them came to come and help me. I was shouting. It was my friend, the letter came. And long time, didn't, the girl that was even coming said, luckily for me, she wanted to come, said I should sleep over, and then the following morning she go to work. She was not telling me that. And she, she, she knows where she used to beat, like, every time she used to beat me. I used to, she's the only one I used to tell everything, because I, I used to be very, very ashamed of telling people about it, because I feel like she used to come walk and stigma like that. And people are going to make fun of it. Meanwhile, the guy in Lagos, when he found out that the guy beat me up, because me and him were longer in good terms, he texted me and was making fun of me, laughing, telling me I've never seen anything. I, I never even see, like, see the go beat me tired. See the hero, my friend, one of one of that girl even said he, that she hopes that he like. I've just been hearing so many things and I've, I don't have, I don't, I've, I'm like I'm having second thoughts on posting it online on blogs, but like I'm, I, I have had enough. There's no way I'm going back there with that guy. He's not very remorseful. He's busy talking about me, telling me that he's going to. There's one video like that he has of me when I was kneeling down crying and begging for money. He says he's going to post it like, to embarrass me and stuff. Now he's going to go and do infection tests. He's going to go and post it online. That was his. I don't mind. Please just help me. He's 29 years old. 